Uh, not this. I love how I did not read this. <laughs> Old trailers? How long is this? Seven minutes, but I already watched some of them. I don't know if I'm going to watch all of it. I know there's some that I did not watch. Which one are the ones that I did not watch? So, when is this game coming out? That's the question. I know it's not Bandai Namco doing uh, this game. Uh, this music is gonna get copyrighted. This is the part of the scene that gets fucking muted. Great, fantastic. Fucking love you, YouTube. Fucking love you, Twitch. <laughs> so we see a bunch of videos of this video. CyberConnect. Yeah, I mean... I mean, arena fighters get a bad rap out there. It's fucking justified. Definitely, alright? It hasn't been any a, a good arena fighter in a bit. Alright? Uh, again, the kill a kill game, debatable, right? It's just, actually, it's pretty good. They attempted a lot of shit that was very interesting. Unfortunately, the anime is not like something super fucking popular to make the game you know, pop out there and all that. So everybody's very cautious when it comes to arena fighters, right? And I blame Bandai Namco for it. Because man, Bandai Namco has grown so complacent with the fact that people love the anime that they will buy anything about their fucking favorite anime. They're just like, just make that shit. People's gonna buy it either way, right? So, so plus on this game is that Bandai Namco doesn't have their greasy fucking horrible online connectivity hands on it, right? God, I roll back for things, but this probably is gonna have awful online too, but <laughs> this is not banned on Nanko online, you know what I'm saying? Remember when they put rollback on fucking Tekken? I don't. <laughs> Listen, there's no reason for Arena Fighters to be bad. Uh, that is a misconception. Like, I play plenty of, of uh, arena fighters that are actually quite fun. Actually, the the same Seiya games are very fun, and it's Bandai Namco from back in the day when they were when they weren't that shitty. The only problem with the same Seiya games is that you have to have a very strict ban list because there are characters that are just like the anime that are fucking bullshit busted that should be prohibited in certain tournaments, which I've seen some uh, Saint Seiya tournaments. Again, I'm sorry, I'm very static. Like I explained early in regards to the chickens on screen that I did not notice. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna play this game. I don't know what you're saying that uh, I wanna be the test dummy. I'm gonna play, I have to kill a kill arena fighter. Nobody else though. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you, I like the ideas that Kill a Kill has. Listen, there's no reason for Arena Fighters to be bad. Alright. <coughs> Any genre of video games can be fantastic if you put the effort in. The problem is that the most the great majority of Arena Fighters are anime based and people is just complacent because they're just and, and everybody are gonna buy their fucking stupid anime game regardless of whether it's good or not right okay i don't think i don't remember seeing this guy though so let me check this one the other ones that i did which what's the difference between this guy and tanjiro <laughs> So, and again, we saw gameplay of this and it already show uh, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, a little bit more of complexity than other arena fighters, right? Which is what you need for uh, a competitive game. Wait a minute, is the old man in this too? Okay, so all the water fucking users are like, are, are they shotos of the game? 
And we like, we have Ryu! And we have Ken! And we got Goku! <laughs> oh no, they're the Goku of this game! They have the same wheel attack! <laughs> Well, at least that rock was new. Alright, so... Water Source style is the shot of the game. Got it. Alright. Wait, hold on! Isn't this bitch dead? We never saw- It's more water! Oh my god! It's Sakura! <laughs> Alright, we have... We have Ryu, we have Ken, we have Goken, we have Sakura. She has the wheel attack, let's go! <laughs> There's a shot of the game! Alright, we have Akuma, Ryu, <laughs> Goken. I have an idea who's this. Yeah. Right. Wow. <laughs> She's gonna have the spinning wheel attack too. She had. I haven't seen the spinning wheel attack, but he has the dive and the splash. Alright. So, he's the Kuma. Alright, got it. No! <laughs> Alright! Cool. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Wait, is this bitch not coming to the Switch? Who did this? Don't put fucking copyrighted music in my fucking reactions! Shit! Twilly, you sent me this video! What the fuck? <laughs> that needs more water! Precisely. <laughs> Come to Hoenn! <laughs> oh, don't tell IGN about these fucking characters. All right, I get it. This is something that has happened in, in 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 a bunch of fighting games lately, right? The whole clone thing. By the way, clone the the clone characters is something that is very common in fighting games. We always have that, right? This game looks moist. I'm very intrigued about this game, right? Um, I really hope for more. It has a lot. The anime has a lot of cool characters, though, right? Uh, like all those. Motherfuckers are the higher ups. Like every shonen anime has those motherfuckers, right? The gold stains, the the fucking captains in Bleach, right? Every anime has the cool motherfuckers that we all want to see fight at one point, but we're not gonna see them fight for a long ass time, right? So they can put those characters in the game, right? Like. Two of the characters that I used to are dead, and we never saw them fight, right? So, the fact that they, we never seen them fight actually allows to be a little more creative. But story-wise, they were all trained by the old men. Therefore, everybody has to fight the same. Therefore, everybody does the same water bullshit, the spinning bullshit. At least this guy did not do the spinning wheel, but he did the, the waterfall attacks. So, he still, has, he still shared some move with them. But yeah, uh, when it comes to fighting games in general, that includes 3D fighters, 2D fighters, uh, you know, platformers, and in this case, arena fighters, which some people don't consider fighting games, because some people, you know, just talk in the past, never move forward. Um, you know, it's very common, you know, the clones. I mean, Dragon Ball Fighter has how many Gokus? <laughs> There's so much Kamehameha in that game. It's impressive. Very impressive. <laughs> God! I hate Goku. Anyway, uh, very interesting. Uh, this video probably does not represent 
the um, you know the totality of how the game is gonna be, right? This was handpicked by Twilly, and sent it to me. Uh, so yeah, it says 4K, but it's blurry as all hell. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. By the way, I'm still looking forward to this game. It looks pretty good, and it's not made. Uh, it's not made by Bandai Namco, so yeah. There you go. No Bandai Namco greasy hands in it. Cool. All right. <clears throat> I mean, I, they could put this guy. Is this guy in? Okay. They, 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 there's somebody you're saying that the roster is bigger than mine. This game can have a big ass roster, right? The only problem with a big roster like that is like you you can just blow your low right away. So what are you gonna do in the sequel, right? Because people will want new characters if you make a sequel game. So if you blow your, all of your fucking character load in the first shot, right? By the sequel, you either change the game completely to make it fresh, or you're fucked. It's going to be the same game. Right? We're already seeing uh, games that suffered uh, of that. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, anyway, let's move on. 